Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Saturday the 17th of June 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. I give a live twin flame read in there for the collective, but I also give mini reads in there. One question readings. You can book in for one of those on my website, BeHealing.com. There's a link in the description box below and also on up there too. You can book in at any time and you don't need to come live for it because I will do any pre-booked readings right at the start of the show and then send you all the links to the um, replay so that you can watch it back or you can come along live and book in at the time while I'm live as well totally up to you if you're watching something more in depth than that uh, you might want a private reading from me I'll put a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them if it says it's sold out it's just sold out for the day you can ask questions in that reading by clicking on the contact us page and putting your questions in after you've booked so let's see what's going on in the energies today Saturday 17th You've got to dance with joy, something making you very happy. You might be going out dancing as well. I might be going out dancing, in fact. If I go out dancing, it turns me on a Saturday night, so come dancing. To dance with joy, or something's making you really happy. Look, cozy home. You might be dancing at home around the kitchen. Cozy home. Or you might be having a cozy home kind of a day and then something makes you really happy there's the first card out guidance find safety in your beacons light you might be getting some guidance today about something receiving some guidance about something let's find out more with the tarot what's going on in the energies tarot Chicken cat's in. You can just about see her ear over there. <laughs> she's off camera. She's fast asleep. Two of swords. You might have a decision to make today, but be confused about what decision to make. Five of wands. We've got some competitive energy here. That could be a bit of a struggle. What else? What else in the energies today? Page of cups. Feeling very positive about something, um, almost overly positive about something. Page of Cups. That could also be a message about love as well that makes you feel very happy. Six of Swords and the Four of Cups. Something, some movement happening that displeases you. It doesn't make you very happy. That disappoints you a little bit. I'm not getting massive energies here, but there's some movement happening. So someone goes somewhere or the ball starts rolling on something and it's not to your liking. Let's find out more. So the Two of Swords, got a decision to make and you're not quite sure about it. The Four of Inspiration, it could be about a celebration. It could be about going to some kind of an event. You might be feeling like, I don't really feel like up to it or something like that. You're not sure whether to go or not. What's up with that? Four of Inspiration is also about solid foundations behind something as well. So you might feel like something isn't worth starting out on or it doesn't have solid foundations or it needs to be started in a different kind of a way. You've got omens behind that. So you've had signs about it or you've been learning about it, um, perhaps to slow things down or something like that or making wise decisions. So you, you just might not be sure about a decision today. Five of Wands, a little bit of a struggle kind of an energy here. What's this about? Five of Wands. A bit of a struggle about what? Ace of Materials, about a big offer that has been made to you. So planting a seed that could be really something long-term. I feel like these two energies are connected. You might have an internal struggle about that, about wondering whether to go for it or not. Uh, this could be a nervousness as you've said yes to something and when it actually comes to it, you might want to stay at home instead. It feels just like nervousness kicking in. In fact, the, the struggle is just about the nerves. What is behind that is duality. No, you're feeling pulled both both ways kind of thing. So that is just the two of swords energy. So we could be talking something really big here, four of inspiration, ace of material, something with solid foundations, something where a seed is planted, it could grow into something very big and long lasting in the future. And you're getting signs perhaps to do it and there's a nervousness, but you're also getting signs or there's a nervousness or something else 
thinking I shouldn't do it. Page of Cups has you in this very positive outlook, kind of a fantasy, kind of a overly positive. Page of Materials is behind that. So something that you're dreaming up, something that you're trying to manifest, overly optimistic about that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Part of the manifestational energy, but it feels like something big needs to end before you can actually move forward on that. So your fantasy might be... Um, for it just to happen rather than you to actually make the changes in your life to actually move toward that thing. Then you've got some movement that displeases you. So something happening or someone doing something or making a move and you're not happy about it. Ace of Voices doesn't feel like you can do anything about it because they're single and independent so they get to make their own choices. So someone's making a choice about something today and you're not so happy about it. Um, but there's nothing you can do about it. Eight of Voices. Someone decides to go somewhere or do something and you don't want them to. It has some kind of an impact on you. It's, it's not massive energy, this. It just feels like it's a bit disappointing to you that they're going. Perhaps someone leaving or something like, oh, no, it makes you angry. <laughs> okay, so it's making you angry. Someone's doing something that you don't want them to do. They're making a move. They're leaving the workplace or, the, or they're coming into the workplace or, or they're... Um, I don't know, moving location and you don't want them to. It makes you angry. Could be family stuff, this. I don't know why you're dancing with joy then, but I was kind of feeling like this situation, your decision, it, it feels like you're deciding to go to something or not and you've already kind of decided to go and you're getting ready for it, but you're still like, oh, I could just stay in instead. The duality about it. I think you might go and I think it might be good for you to go if it's that situation that I'm picking up on here. What about our love lives today? What about our love lives today? Deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So if your decision that you're confused about is about your love life then you already know what you want to do. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So don't be pushing and rushing things today. I see an animal out there. Squirrel, I think. Tree shrew. Um, keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. Even if you're close to something, keep your heart open. You can say no and keep your heart open. No to doing something, but keep your heart open to that person. We have memories coming up today of fun that you've had. So remember the fun that you've had, especially for those of you that are like feeling like pulled back from going out or something like that. Remember the fun that you, you did have. Yeah, I think you need to go along to something today. We've got luck it could be lucky for those of you singles as well you could be meeting someone if you go to something tonight even if you're feeling like oh, I'm not sure whether I should go or not you might get lucky and irresistibility someone could be you could be irresistible to somebody You've got loneliness and the lovers could be coming out of this loneliness energy and into the lovers kind of an energy so it is kind of an energy where if you if you do go out for, the, for those of you singles you might be meeting someone to die tonight i mean let's find out more what else in the energies today mice discord amongst family or friends i was picking up that family kind of thing there somebody doing something in the family that you don't want them to do Makes you angry. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Not the best approach to life. It's better to have goals and go for something and make improvements, I think. But I'm quite a self-disciplined kind of a person. Target, I'm this kind of person, goal-oriented person. Bat, take care, enemies are working against you trying to hold you back and 40 of clover great good fortune there is lucky energy around today though you might get lucky 
Mm. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag for a specific question that you've got and cards out of my bag here as well, then you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I do those in my live show, the next live show. So once you've booked in, I'll do all of the pre-booked ones right at the start of the next live show and then send you all the links to the um, replay so that you can watch it back. Or you can come along live and ask your questions in there and book in while I'm, um, while I'm live. Or I can use those in a private reading as well. If you want something longer, more detailed, more guidance, then you can book in for one of those. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them. Um, click on the Contact Us page after you've booked in. Put your questions for your reading in there. How best to deal with these energies today? Have the two of swords again. It's like the decision is yours, right? You might have confusion about a decision, but what you want to do is kind of sit in silence and, and go deep into your heart. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer, right? Um, and question yourself at what might be pulling you back, because often it's our fears that pull us back, right? That we have resistance to. It feels like the energy, one of those days, where you're like, I'm a bit too tired, I'm not sure whether I want to go out, do I really want to do this? And then you go out, you push yourself and you go out, and you have a, the best time, and you meet someone great. It feels like that kind of an energy. Let me know, come back and let me know in the comments if that kind of thing happens. Well, think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is? No, it's the ruby, don't. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in that Psychic Cafe show and I make three Love Picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow.